basketball is a sport for a lot of people, but for Kentuckians, it comes close to being a religion. Yes. And, and I'll tell you, having won this national championship, for them to come to the capital city is just especially important because this is the seat of government for all of the Commonwealth. People kind of look at this community as the seat of government for all the Commonwealth. And it's great to bring that trophy right here and to celebrate that victory right here in Frankfurt. This program did not start three years ago. It did not start five years ago. It did not start 10 years ago. It started in 1930 when a man called Adolph Rupp decided to come to the University of Kentucky. And with us today is Adolph Rupp Jr. Herky Rupp, come on up, Herky. Now, not only this man, there, there was a man unlucky enough to follow his father and go to three Final Fours in a national title. His name is Joe B. Hall, and he's here with us. You know, we're sitting up here, and we're blown away by this crowd. We were in the eastern part of our state, in Hazard, in Pikeville, in Ashland, and it was amazing the response that we got. And now we're here in Frankfurt and looking at this. I can only tell you, did you have fun watching this team play? Now, I'm going to say this. More importantly, more importantly, did they look like they were having fun playing basketball? You know, I, I said this and I'll say it again. We're a players first program. We are a players first program. And I told you, they will drag us where we want to go if we're about them. Did they drag us where we wanted to go? Our governor said it best. We were talented. I'm never taking away from my team. I want everybody to say he got the most talent. Good, I got the best players. I want them to say that. I don't want it to be about me. It's about these young people. But you know what they did? They came together as a team. Uh-oh, the young, how did you guys get out of school? What is that? If any, if any of you students, if they asked, you say the governor asked that we were to be at this meeting today. You tell, put it on the governor. I think this entire experience, this tour, et cetera, sort of, I think is what Kentucky basketball is about. You know, groups of kids, uh, fans just here to, to see the coach. And as far as KSR, it's been, this is amazing. And I appreciate people. We wouldn't exist if it wasn't for these people, so I very much appreciate it. Coach Cal has an unusual ability to uh, stand in any seat and be comfortable. He loves the people and uh, it comes across to where they accept him for what he is and who he is. What you see is what you give with Coach Calipari. He no put on, he is as sincere as anybody I ever saw. And that's unusual today's work. I was just listening to the radio. It's been this kind of a turnout on every stop along the way and it will continue through the state. I mean, it just shows the energy and the commitment this state has to basketball and the success of the Cats just ratchets it up another level. Well, and I'm visiting relatives in Larchburg and I saw this in the paper this morning. So I gotta go. I was gonna go to Waverly Hills, but when I found it, this is coming, I said, cancel that trip. I'm going to come here first. So Our grandson and us wanted to come because we're behind the Wildcats all the way, and we figure we want a bigger crowd than the Eastern Kentucky had. I could hardly watch the Louisville game. Uh, that, if they would have played anybody else, it would have been a big party, but with the uh, Louisville game, I had to turn it off and go outside. I couldn't, couldn't hardly watch that we game. We had to sneak to watch it, me and the son.